Welcome to The Sacred Life. I'm Shan Vanderleek, and today I'm going to be sharing the goddess card that I pulled for July from the Goddess Guidance Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. I almost had to laugh when Sekhmet popped out of the deck as she sits in her throne flanked by lions in the midst of Leo season and our recent Leo new moon. Her message is to be strong. And she reminds us that we are stronger than we think we are and that our strength assures a happy outcome. An interesting card for these times, for sure. Sekhmet's message is to see yourself as strong and victorious and to not complain about anything and not to blame anyone or any condition, but to realize that you're the embodiment of strength, not victimhood, not a martyr. As you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in the new light of beautiful feminine strength, your life will automatically shift in so many miraculous ways. You will attract new opportunity, forms of abundance, and healthy relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to feel genuine emotions. But most of all, be strong. Some of the various meanings of this card have to do with not underestimating yourself and not yielding to pressure, gaslighting, or temptation, and to do your very best to avoid complaining or indulging in negative thinking, because what we think about comes about. So anytime you find yourself going down that negative track, try and Turn it around the best you can. This card also invites us to make our body stronger, whether that be through weight training or swimming or however it is you want to move your body to be as strong and flexible as you can be. Sekhmet is an Egyptian sun goddess, and she's the fiery protector Her name means strong and mighty. Sekhmet is connected with lions, symbolizing her fiercely protective nature, and sometimes appears with a lion's head and a human woman's body. You can call upon Sekhmet anytime to shore up your strength and power. This card is gorgeous. Sekhmet sits on this beautiful throne. She's wearing a purple gown with full adornment. She has two golden lions on either side of the throne, a beautiful crown, and you can just see the confidence and strength and power in this artwork. If you get a chance, take a look at the card on the Transformation Goddess site. That's transformationgoddess.com if you want to read along with this podcast. Before I close today, I'd like to know who or what you may be giving your power away to. Sit with that. Are you giving your power away? Are you letting others drain your energy or create self-doubt or perhaps causing you to stress and worry, and not carry through with your decisions? I don't know about you, but sometimes I can get really wishy-washy when there's a decision to be made. And I'll often put myself through this mental gymnastics and the self-doubt that comes through and all of this stuff. And then when I finally do make a decision, almost in every single circumstance, I feel so much better Even if it turns out that the decision may or may not have been the best decision, I made a decision, I made a choice. Even if you make a choice that flops, so what? You're standing in your power. You're choosing, you're making a choice. Too often, we trust the advice and opinions of others and put our own opinions on the back burner. 
or we back down if we feel unworthy to follow through on something or I don't know, have you ever had something that you were really inspired about, super excited about in one moment, and then as time passed, it kind of fizzled out and fell away? This is that self-doubt working on you. This is that, oh, you know, I'm such a dreamer, or, oh, that was a good idea at the time. But all you really need to know is that if you're making choices and decisions in your life, that are going to be for the greatest and highest good of all involved, you're on the right track. This is your power. This is your sovereign power. You get to choose. You do not have to give all of your energy to everybody else. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I wish you the very best this month, this beautiful, powerful, and potent Leo season. I'll see you again next month. If you're interested in having your own goddess card message for July, go ahead and visit transformationgoddess.com forward slash blog, and then you can make a love donation and I'll pull a card for you and send it to you via email. That's transformationgoddess.com forward slash blog. Thanks for listening.